Hi, this is Nicholas Yock, a registered education and migration agent from Pathway to Oz. Today, we're going to discuss how to apply for a bridging visa B. So what is a bridging visa B? Well, when you apply for pretty much any substantive visa from onshore, you'll be granted a bridging visa. And this bridging visa allows you to remain in Australia, you know, and continue here remaining in Australia lawfully whilst your new visa is being processed. However, this bridging visa, the bridging visa A that you're initially given, does not allow you to travel in and out of Australia. So if you want to travel in and out of Australia on a bridging visa, you would need to apply for what's called a bridging visa B. So it is quite common for someone to apply for a bridging visa B uh, if they you know, have applied for a, quite a lengthy process, such as a partner visa or something like that. But you can apply for a bridging visa B if you've applied for almost any visa. So who can apply for a bridging visa B? Usually anyone who holds a bridging visa A can then apply for a bridging visa B. How to apply? Look, fortunately, the process is quite simple. Um, you'd apply, once you've applied for your, you know, your substantive visa, you'll be granted a bridging visa A. Um, immediately, you can then log on to your immigration account. Um, on the top left, you'll see a uh, bridging visa. You'll click on that and then you click on apply for a bridging visa. Uh, and then it's quite a short questionnaire, it should only take about five minutes. Um, and then you'll be requested to attach a you know, proof of your travel itinerary or travel ticket or something like that. When to apply for a bridging visa B? Look, you're probably recommended to apply for a bridging visa B about one month before your planned departure from Australia. What is the processing time for a bridging visa B? Uh, the bridging visa B, in my experience, you know, can be granted anywhere from one day to two weeks, which is why it's important to give yourself that month before to apply for that bridging visa. What's the cost of a bridging visa B? The bridging visa B costs $145. How long can the bridging visa B be granted for? Look, it's really up to the discretion of immigration how long they grant you the bridging visa for. Sometimes if you've applied for quite a lengthy visa like a partner visa and they know it's going to take a long time to process, you, immigration will grant you a bridging visa B for a month, which allows for travel in and out. However, sometimes if you've applied for a bridging visa, no, if you applied for a visa, for like a short visa, like a, a student visa, and the processing time is not that long, they'll give you, you know, the visa grant for the, for the length of your trip, so two weeks, three weeks, etc. Um, it's very important that once the bridging visa has been granted, you really check out the visa grant notice just to confirm the dates that you must re-enter. Um, if you don't enter Australia by the date of your bridging visa, uh, your bridging visa will be cancelled and you'll need to apply for another visa to re-enter Australia. Please note this video is very general in nature. Um, if you're the holder of a BBC or a BBE, you generally speaking can't apply for a bridging visa B. Um, additionally, some applicants may be required to lodge a paper application for a BVB. So obviously it's not straight cut, but you know, we'd definitely recommend contacting a registered migration agent um, to discuss this further. Thank you.